Hello everyone, this is Ajit here from Interview Network. Welcome to your channel and today topic is we are going to discuss about VNet versus Subnet. And uh, if you are new to VNet, then link in the description. I have already prepared video for the VNet on a high level. You can go and watch and you can have a understanding what is about VNet. And because today we are going to learn about how VNet and Subnet are related and how we use it. Okay, so <clears throat> let's start this video now and uh, let me uh, give you a brief uh, recap on the VNet. As we all know that we have a uh, Azure cloud and for example, let's take this example, this is Azure cloud. And within the Azure cloud, I took a subscription. So let me take help you. So this is my subscription within the Azure cloud. So let me make a shortcut key for the subscription. It's SUV. And within subscription, I have my own region. Okay, so this is region. Let me again make a shortcut. And within region, we create VNet. Okay, now we can create multiple VNet within the region as much as we want and as per the requirement that we have. And each VNet have its own IP range. Okay. So each VNet has its IP range that we define. Okay, that's another shortcut, IPRAN. So this is VNet 1, this is VNet 2, and this is VNet 3. So, so keep on going as per your requirement that you have. So that means within we have a subscription. Within subscription, we create a region, and within region, we can have our own VNet that we create. Okay. So can the communication between VNet is possible? Yes. Within the same region, we can have intercommunication between the VNet without any uh, changes that is required by Azure. Can the resources who are in this resource group? You know, for example, this is a virtual machine, this is a virtual machine, this is a virtual machine. Can they communicate with each other within the same region? Yes, we, they can do without any changes. Okay. So the question might uh, come within your mind like, what about if I have a, another region somewhere? For example, this is region, you know, US East, for example. And if I have another region which is in US West, and if I have a VNet there, for example, in the same way, can this VNet 1 communicate with this VNet 4? Yes, they can, but that is a different concept that is called the VNet peering. How it will be done that we will discuss in the later in the video. So that's a brief uh, outline about VNet. So let's come to the our motto of this video. So let me remove these things from here that is not required anymore now. So <clears throat> as we, I have told you, so you have no understanding on the, what is VNet on the high level and how it is created within the Azure. Now, if you talk about the subnet, uh, subnet is something that is we define within VNet. Okay. So if I, let me just remove it for you guys to make it more clear for everything. Okay. Now if go back to this, so this is the VNet one if I have. Now within each VNet, I create a subnet. Okay. So point number one is that VNet subnet is always created within VNet. Okay. So if your VNet is of, for example, let's take an, it's a, it has an IP range of slash 16. Okay. So if you remember in traditional uh, network that we already had in the past, if you have an experience, you have heard the term called subnetting, correct? Now what happens subnetting, what we do, we divide a large subnet into smaller, smaller subnetting so that we can use that specific subnet for a different purpose. So if I have a slash 16 uh, as a subnet, so what I will do, I will use slash 24 for different purpose of the same IP range uh, slash 6 uh, you know slash 25 for another purpose so in the same way we can divide the subnet okay for example slash 16 or 24 I'm using for HR department 
and slash or for the data VLAN and slash 26 I'm using for voice VLAN. So in the, in the same way, so that six, class 16 will be divided into different different subnets. Same concept come with this uh, Azure where what it does within the VNet that we created, we create the subnet. Okay. And uh, then we, the moment we create the subnet, each subnet has its own prefix. But the, all those will be false within the same IP range that VNet is created. Okay. Now that's once you have that understanding. Now, if you remember in traditional uh, network, what we do, we don't use two IP. Okay. So if I come to this point, if I let me remove it. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Now in traditional uh, subnet or traditional network, we don't use the first IP, which is okay. Let me do this. First IP, which is always all zero. That is called the network address. Okay. And we don't use the, this is called the network address. I am again writing the shortcut. And the last IP, which we always call all one, which we say uh, in normal is like 255.255, that is called the broadcast address. So two IP is never used in traditional network that we already know that. So does Azure use the same concept? Yes, Azure use the same concept. But apart from these two IP, it also don't use three more IP. Okay, so the first IP will be this one. Second IP will be dot one, which uh, Azure use for the default gateway. Okay, and third IP and the fourth IP Azure use for DNS purpose. So in total, Azure do not allow you to use five IP of your own I subnet. So whatever prefix you have in, in each subnet, for example, either you have slash 24 or slash 26, slash 29, whatever. You will not be able to use the five IP because Azure has, will be using those IP for different purpose, which I have explained to you, you know. Now that come to the point, like if uh, example, if I have a slash 29, because slash 29 is the smallest subnet that you can create in Azure. Normally in traditional network, uh, slash 29 allow you to use eight usable IP, but in Azure, it only allow three usable IP because eight out of eight, five will be used for different purpose as I've explained to you. So the point again, next point that comes for the subnet is the smallest subnet that you can create in Azure is slash 29. And the largest subnet that you can create in Azure is slash two. Okay, so guys, just make a note of this. Uh, next video, you'll be seeing, uh, you know, next slide. I will be explaining, you know, <laughs> you about these small notes. Uh, these notes will help you to understand uh, about the vignette and subnet. And that is very important uh, question that I normally ask during interview to uh, assess your uh, understanding level. Uh, and that will help the interviewer to understand uh, where you stand in terms of Azure or the cloud and how much understanding you have with the traditional network and the Azure. So guys, I'm sure you must like this video and do if you do like, do, do like it and share with your friends. Yeah.